Cereal. White House vi <laughs> says violence won't help Taliban uh, gain international legitimacy. That's what I'm sure they're really worried about. Okay? Now, this was uh, on the 6th. So, this was a few days ago. Um, since then, people have been jumping off planes they've been trying to hold on to. The uh, uh, military has admitted to finding human remains in the landing gear. They didn't say bodies, they said human remains. So, God, I just wonder, man, you know, it's like, was their arm cut off as they're trying to hold on to the plane taking off? I mean, some people, at least they, uh, they decide they're going to, they're going to end it their way. So anyway, good job here, Jen. I can't pronounce her last name. She got that job by, uh, being with Hunter. Anyway, uh, so... This is a, a, a reflection as to the way they were thinking and as to the way it works. Uh, the White House has condemned the Taliban's recent violent attacks, urging terrorist group to shift its priorities to ongoing peace negotiations with the Afghan government. Well, that didn't work out for them. During a press briefing on Friday, before she went on vacation, uh, Jen uh, denounced the Taliban's attack. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure people... That uh, pour boiling water on their wives when they talk back to them. Really care what a soulless ginger here, Jen Saki Sucky, whatever her name is. Uh, I mean, look at that. I mean, that, have you ever seen an uglier human being? Uh, I just uh, you like vomit. You like pig vomit because you look like a pig and you make me want to vomit. Um. Saki denounced the Taliban's assassination of an Afghani government official in a series of bombings this week. That's before they got the military equipment. Additionally, there are credible reports that you've touched on atrocities and retaliation against civilians in uh, other Taliban-controlled areas, which, is, of course, we are closely tracking and concerned about, said Pig Vomit. Uh, if the Taliban claims to want international legitimacy, these actions are not... They want international legitimacy. I'm sure they're worried about what France thinks about them. I'm sure they're sitting there we're just quaking, thinking, oh, man, I really hope the Italians care that we're 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 serious and we're very cute. Uh, we really want to take our families to the uh, Italian uh, 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 Riviera there, you know? We want to go to Morocco. We like, we like Morocco. Uh, I think that's in Italy. I don't know. I don't really know. I don't know much about Europe. I'd like to get out of my cave sometime. You'll see it. And now that we're uh, being taken legitimate, uh, we'll be able to do all that. <sighs> get a life. Uh, the organization isn't just attacking people, but also conquering uh, land at an alarming rate. On Friday, the Taliban appeared to have used offensive military tactics to take control of the city of... What is this? Jumanji. All right, they took control of the city, Jumanji, its first provincial capital. However, the Afghan government suggested the city had not quite fallen yet. Uh, it hasn't fallen yet. Uh, don't pay any attention. Look over there. Hey, you know, who was who that about him to uh, uh, Saddam Hussein's uh, PR guy? He used to always be an awesome meme. What happened to him? He's probably in Afghanistan right now. Uh, however, the uh, Afghan government said, I've been following you. Okay, got that. In the meantime, the Taliban has continued to ramp up its attacks as the U.S. withdrawals troops in the war torn country the goal of exiting the Middle East by the end of August. When asked during the briefing whether the surge in Taliban attack uh, alters the Biden administration's stance on the Afghanistan, pig vomit suggested it's not America's responsibility to risk American lives to extend the. Un it's not America's responsibility to risk American lives? to extend an unbeatable 20-year war. I'm going to tell you, there's several things here. One, it's not America's responsibility to risk American lives. It's never your responsibility to risk your life. To say it's not America's responsibility, she's meaning the government, and to risk means that they have the right to tell other people, the military, to go there and risk their lives. They don't. It's a volunteer army. Um, 
And then, but it also when she goes to extend an unbeatable 20 year war. That right there is code for Vietnam. And that's the, the imagery and stuff. It look, I think they set it up to look like Vietnam. These people love failure. And that's what they're doing. And that's why she is, she just makes me want to vomit. Ah. Uh, anyway. <sighs> Subscribe to the channel. We'll change the algorithm together. All right. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Get a, you know that like thing. Uh, puts it in circulation. And other than that, you guys be good to each other. Do something fun. Don't listen to negative Nancys. Let me be the negative Nancy and get it all out. And then you guys enjoy your life. Love one another. Godspeed, y'all. Godspeed.